so that they may be delivered as quickly as possible to Canadians. Well, member for Burnaby South. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the outbreaks of COVID-19 in Nunavut could have dire consequences for the people of Nunavut who are already faced with historic underfunding when it comes to health care. We've written a letter to the Prime Minister asking the Prime Minister to deliver all help necessary, including more protective equipment and more testing to help the people of Nunavut. Will the Prime Minister commit to doing everything within his power to help protect the people of Nunavut? Right, Honourable Prime Minister. Yes, Mr. Speaker. From the very beginning, we've been working closely with the Northern Premiers, including Premier Savikatak of uh, Nunavut, to ensure that they get all the support they need. We've ensured that northern and remote communities have the resources they need with 3,792 rapid tests shipped, with 771,000 items of PPE shipped, $13 million through the Safe Restart Agreement, $130 million in funding, federal funding to address health, economic, transportation priorities across the three territories. Uh, I'm in regular communication with the Nunavut government. I spoke to the Premier last week, and we're continuing to assist the government any way necessary. Well, member for Burnaby South.